So a few videos ago, we solved the homogeneous case of this differential equation, uh, and we've got this complementary function here. So now the right-hand side I've put as 9e to the 2x. Now what you need to spot is that the right-hand side function is actually a multiple of one of our pieces of the complementary function solution. Uh, and that causes a little bit of a problem. So, let's see what problem it causes. So, you might instinctively say, right, my test function's got to be a e to the 2x. Okay? Following the logic of how we've gone through this before. So, dy by dx would be equal to 2a e to the 2x. And d2y by dx squared would be equal to 4ae to the 2x. Let's pop it in. Uh, we're going to get 4ae to the 2x. Take away 5 lots of this one, so take away 10ae to the 2x. Then 6 lots of this one, so plus 6ae to the 2x. And that's got to be equal to the 9e to the 2x. OK, so we get uh, 4ae to the 2x, uh, take away 10ae to the 2x, plus 6ae to the 2x, which is equal to 0. And of course, this cannot be equal to 0, and so this hasn't worked. Now, why didn't this work? Why did I get zero? Well, the reason why I got zero was because I know that that is of the same form as that. I've just replaced the a with c2, right? It's still the same. It's a constant times e to the 2x. And I know that if I substitute that in, it solves the homogeneous case where I've got it equal to zero. So when I substitute it in here, I should get 0 by the definition of how we got there. Right, so that means it doesn't work. Can't do it that way. So how do we change it? How can we modify it so that it does work? Well, in order to make it work, we actually need to multiply our test function by x. So I actually need to consider ax e to the 2x. Now this isn't immediately obvious as to why this would work. OK, so let's see it in action. So when I differentiate, I'm going to have to use the product rule. ax times e to the 2x. So the first times the derivative of the second, so 2ax e to the 2x, plus the second times the derivative of the first, so that's plus a e to the 2x. Now I need to differentiate again, so I'm going to have to use the product rule again on this term. So first times the derivative of the second would be 4ax e to the 2x, plus the second times the derivative of the first, so plus 2 a e to the 2x and then this differentiates to 2 a e to the 2x okay so I've got 4 a x e to the 2x plus 4 a e to the 2x so let's substitute everything in we've got the 4 a x e to the 2x plus 4 a e to the 2x. Then take away 5 lots of this one. So take away 10 a x e to the 2x. Uh, take away 5 a e to the 2x. Then we've got 6 lots of y. So plus 6 lots of a x e to the 2x. That's got to be equal to 9 e to the 2x. Actually, let's write that term down here. OK. I'll just do 
it as an implies. Okay. Right. So we've got 4ax e to the 2x. Take away 10ax e to the 2x plus 6ax e to the 2x. And they're gone. Okay, so they all knock each other out. Good. Gets rid of those terms. What I'm left with is 4ae to the 2x take away 5ae to the 2x. And so that would be minus ae to the 2x is equal to 9e to the 2x. Okay. So then, dividing both sides by e to the 2x, because that can't be equal to 0, this is going to imply that a must be equal to minus 9. So the particular integral will be take away 9a, sorry, 9x rather, 9x e to the 2x. And that would be my general solution to the differential equation. Okay? So essentially, uh, multiplying by x allows you to have uh, this cancellation that we get here. Okay? So it's all going to come down to this part where that knocks out and it allows us to get this extra bit that we can put equal to the right hand side 9e to the 2x to work out what that constant value's got to be. Okay? So that's how we can solve this special case. So the whole point of this uh, is really telling you that when you solve a differential equation, if you're not in the habit already, find the solutions to the auxiliary equation first. Go down and find the uh, complementary function first, then find the particular integral because you're going to have to double check that the test function that you use is not a piece of your complementary function. Otherwise, you're going to get into problems.